Saving Lives is a new national HIV awareness campaign. It's been more than 25 years since the last one. There is now a danger that has become a threat to us all. It is a deadly disease and there is no known cure. The virus can be passed during sexual intercourse with an infected person. Anyone can get it, man or woman. So far it's been confined to small groups, but it's spreading. The tombstones worked. They scared people into using condoms. But they also left a legacy of stigma, which 21st century campaigns must tackle if we are to beat today's HIV problems. The younger people weren't around during the first campaign, so they won't know about the original campaign and then the media has subsided. So it's important then to raise the awareness. There's still a, a stigma involved with it. People are still embarrassed by it and they feel that um, you're tainted um, and going for tests, people still feel that it will come up in job interviews or mortgages, things like that, and, and none of that is true. Today's challenge, then, is to increase testing despite reluctance from the general public. Saving Lives is here to change minds about HIV. It just needs to be talked about more. It's just forgotten about completely. People don't talk about it. And, and if, it, if it became into conversation more, if people saw it in the paper, in, in Hello magazine or whatever, or the, and the, the ones you get um, with all the X Factor stuff and the pop stuff, I mean, th there's n nothing in there about HIV either. And, and surely those sort of magazines are, you know, an ideal way of getting through to people. Saving Lives is a mass media campaign which puts HIV messages where the people are. Our media activity is focused on key strands, and in each, we've achieved success. Here's just some of what we've been up to. My name is Julian Thomas, and my event is the 200 metres and the 4x1 relay. What enticed me to Saving Lives was pretty much um, when I was, I was reading the information about it on the website. And when I read that, I was, it was kind of like a shock. I was like, whoa, that's, that's pretty serious, that. My name's Tony Hadley. I'm England National Coach Mentor for Speed. There's so much said in the press and media uh, that's, that's not good about sportsmen, so I think it's, it's, it's only good that, that there are guys and, and girls who are saying the right things and doing the right things as well. I, I'm, I'm sure that, that their involvement in, in a campaign like this, which you know, should give the confidence, the encouragement to, to all young people to, uh, to actually go and ha have the test, you know, not be afraid of the consequences uh, and you know, if, 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 if the results are, are not what they would like them to be, at least they're, they're empowered in having that knowledge and you know, the, the procedures, the protocol that's around now just enables everyone to have just lead a normal life afterwards. Curtis Davis, Birmingham City Centre Back. Um, the reason I'm back in Saving Lives is because I feel it's a very important charity. The info I've been given from the charity about one in four people in the UK being diagnosed um, with HIV and not knowing is, is massive and um, anything that we can do as, as players to heighten the awareness of the, of the charity and um, people getting tested then um, we're happy to do that and hopefully uh, more people will go get tested and if anything is, is wrong they can get themselves seen to. Really proud that I can be part of this uh, this cause, and um, you know I hope we can get that message across, especially with uh, football. You know I've been wearing this. Um, it's only a little band, and uh, uh, people be asking about it and uh, what is it, and you know when people see something. Uh, something different in you and they're just asking questions and we, when you explain to them what is it, they start taking their notice. But yeah, players have been asking me as well and I'll be grateful if more players get involved. I think um, the more and more people come out and, and you know back the cause and back the charity, um, I think it's, like I said, it's, it's almost a, a taboo subject, you know, people don't really want to talk about it. It's kind of, um, you know, bury, bury your head in the sun sort of thing and, and hope it all goes away and the, the fact is it's not going to go away. 
I think that football teams should be used as a as a vehicle to put things out to to uh, in the public domain that other people look at, especially young people, because they are impressionable and they do like what footballers do and they are impressed by them, rightly or wrongly. Not everything's impressive, impressive by us, but we do have an effect on people's lives. So if, if every football club could do the same, then we'd have an effect in every area around the country, wouldn't we? Anything you'd like to add? <coughs> you just check me for this cough. I've been dying to cough for about the last <laughs> 30 seconds. So. <coughs> But I always tell people, there's no other way. If you feel unwell or if you think you might be at risk, just get tested. And I actually tell some people bluntly that if you've had sex with no condom, you're at risk. For me, the kind of things I've seen all over the years since my diagnosis, I feel there's been a huge shift in terms of um, how people perceive HIV, but also in more realistic terms is the fact that um, an HIV diagnosis nowadays is no longer the death sentence that it used to be because pretty much now with um, access to and careful use of treatment, uh, people living with HIV can expect to have a near normal life expectancy, just like uh, somebody else not diagnosed with HIV. And I feel that um, just having that information has changed or can, has the potential to change people's perceptions. what can be done in terms of the epidemic, um, how, how you can reduce the number of infections. And as, as we said, the, the key there is diagnose the undiagnosed. Now, I don't think there are too many people in the Western developed countries that are as, as aware as they need to be about this issue. So it's very, very important that you have voices that can speak up and utilize the platform as I can't. In the Western world, although treatment is extremely successful, one in four people in the UK who have HIV don't actually know that they've got it. And so that's over 20,000 people in the UK. And if they don't know they've got it, they turn up to um, medical uh, services extremely late and they can still die. So one of the things that we have to do um, in, in the same way as the worldwide problem is to raise awareness that HIV is still a problem and that we need to normalize testing and get people tested so they can access this life-saving treatment. And also for the fact that you know, there's 85,000 people within the UK that actually carry the virus as well and you know, people actually, actually have it and they don't know, um, they're, on, they're totally unaware of it. So I definitely know within myself I've got a very, very big mouth. So um, I, know I can spread that word certainly. And within the Midland area, um, it's, been, it's been said that um, it's trebled within the last 10 years. And I'm from the Midlands and I love Birmingham and I'm out a lot. And my mates, they're all over the place. So, you know, I think it's really, really important that, you know, we drive home to people the importance of getting HIV tested. One in four people that have HIV will be unaware that they have it. A blood test takes a few minutes. It's such a simple and easy procedure. And um, what it will do is it, it will save lives. To find out more about Saving Lives, you can visit our website at www.savinglivesuk.com.